Thank you for joining me for another episode of Sam's Tech Stuff. Today we're going to take a look at setting up a pair of hard drives in RAID 1 through Microsoft Windows 10. This is a pretty basic RAID configuration. It will essentially make it so that any data that you write to the drive is copied to both of the drives at the same time. There is a little bit of hit to the write speed and it does involve a little bit of CPU usage as this is not using a RAID card. This is software RAID or as some people call it fake RAID. This RAID solution is good if you don't have any money to spend on a cheap RAID card on eBay or Amazon or anything like that. And it is definitely not a backup for your important data. Just want to get that out of the way. If you are looking for something like that, I'll be doing a couple of videos soon on RAID cards and my storage setup. You want to make sure that you get subscribed to the channel and click that little red bell so that you get those notifications. Now let's take a look at opening up the disk management tool, find the two drives that we installed, and set them up in a RAID array. So we're going to click on start and type disk management. If you just type disk man, you'll get create and format hard drive disk partitions. So that'll work. Now on my PC, I have a lot of hard drives and a lot of optical drives, so there's a lot here. Your PC probably won't look exactly like this. What you'll want to do is find the two hard drives that you plugged in and make sure that they're first online drives, which both of these are. In my case, there's no data on these, so I'm not going to back anything up. So now that I know where the two drives are, disk 0 and disk 1, I'm going to create the RAID array. So I'm going to right click on the first one and then choose mirrored volume. So this will take you through the array wizard in Microsoft Windows. So you're going to click next here and then you're going to choose the disk that matches selected on the left hand side under the available column and then click add. Then you'll see both of the disks over here. If you don't want the maximum amount of storage in this RAID disk, then you would change this. But I want everything in here, so I'm just going to leave it as default. Then I'm going to hit next. And we'll have to pick a drive letter. I just always let the computer pick whatever the next letter is. So in this case, we're going to do a drive E. Hit next. Now in this case, neither of these drives are formatted, so I do want them to actually get formatted here. I'm going to leave the file system as NTFS, the allocation unit size is default. I really don't have a reason to change that. I'm going to change the volume label here to RAID. And then I'm going to choose Perform a Quick Format. This format won't take a long time. You can do a long format, it's just basically going to take a lot longer. If you know the disks are good already, I suggest doing the quick format. If you're not really sure or if they're brand new disks, I would leave that unchecked. But just a word of warning, it is going to take a long time for that to finish. I won't select enable file and folder compression on this one. I really don't have a need for that. They're about 500 gig hard drives, so for scratch space, it's fine. Then I'm going to click next. And in this screen, you can review all the settings you chose in the wizard. I'm happy with everything here, so I'm going to click finish. So then you'll get a warning from the disk management tool that it's converting these basic disks to dynamic disks. Essentially what that means is you can't install an operating system on this. This is basically just a storage disk. And for our purposes in this video and for what I'm actually using it for, that's exactly what I want it to be. Just a mirrored storage disk array. So I'm going to click yes. Now it's going to take a little while, so the formatting process is pretty short when you choose the short format. Now you can see disk 0 and disk 1, instead of being black, they're highlighted in red. It means that they're both in the RAID array now, and you can see under the description that they are both drive E. So any data that I write to drive E will actually get saved on both of these drives. So any data that I save to these drives is mirrored, so there's an exact copy on disk 0 and disk 1. And like I said earlier, the reason that you want this is just in case, say, disk 0 dies, still have a copy on disk 1. You can either purchase a similar hard drive and add it back into the array, or you can buy another hard drive or just move your data off of disk 1 to some other disk. In my computer, for example, I've got uh, one terabyte storage drive, some SSDs, and some other items. 
So now that we have our RAID array set up, let's just double check it in Windows Explorer. Click on the manila folder down here, and we can see that RAID E is now a drive, and we can create items on it. And that's it to setting up the RAID array. Check out the description below for step-by-step -step instructions. If you like this video, definitely go ahead and give it a like. If you have any questions or are interested in seeing videos that actually detail RAID card setups, definitely let me know in the comments section below. Don't forget to get subscribed to the channel and click that little red bell in the bottom right hand corner so you get updates every time we upload. You can follow us on Twitter at Sam's Tech Stuff or on Facebook, facebook.com forward slash Sam's Tech Stuff or check out our website, samstechstuff.com.